Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic. It's about quantum computer and especially quantum machine learning. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan. I'm a chief technical officer at a software company that develops AI solutions for oil and gas. Today I will give you an insight the difference with classical computing, how to train your own neural network for quantum computers, as well as we'll go through a paper that implements quantum computing for lithology prediction. So stay tuned to that. To better grasp the idea of quantum computing, we gotta put it on a scale with the thing that we already know, classical computers. We know that classical computers appeared in 1950s and they also called binary computers for a reason. Because everything that you have on your computer, every program that you run on your computer can be reduced into bits of information. Bits can store binary values 0 or 1. And because in CPU we have transistors, Transistors is the small switches that can be either in on or off position. In on position, they allow current to pass through that switch. If it's on off position, that terminates that behavior. Starting from the simple calculator program, ending up with very difficult physics simulations, for example, thermal combustion reserve simulation, can be reduced into those bits of information. So that we are making CPUs faster by putting a lot of those transistors and reducing their size but we are approaching the physical limitation of those operations and there are also problems that would be impossible to solve using the current state of the art classical computing. And then we have quantum computers that promises a significant increase in computational power. So let's understand how it is attained. Quantum computers instead of bits of information uses qubits. That stands for quantum bits which is represented by the subatomic scale component. Don't worry, I would not go into quantum physics at this video. I would like to give you just insight how qubits work. Remember that we talk about classical bits that can be in either zero or one state. That is interesting about quantum computer is that they can be in either states at once because of the property called superposition. And this is precisely why they can compute a lot more information at the same time. For classical bits, they can be 1 to 2 to the power of 4 different configurations at a time, which sums up into 16 different configurations where you can only use one at the same time. Uh, whereas quantum computers with those qubits that enjoy superposition can be in any 16 combination at once. And this is precisely why they are powerful. Even though the values of those qubits is uncertain, we can do reliable calculations and transformations while they are in the superposition state. And then we can move them into more classical states and get down with calculations. And the other property that qubits have is called entanglement. It is really an intuitive property. And we can understand it as a communication system between qubits, no matter how far they are, when we access the value of one qubit and can indirectly access the value from other qubits. By clever exploiting superposition and entanglement, we can build better system that would be much more powerful than current state-of-the-art classical computers, as well as we can increase computations exponentially while adding extra qubits. Quantum computers open door for a variety of complex problems and simulations that are really difficult to solve with the traditional computers. For example, guessing the past code for the piece of information that is encrypted with 256-bit algorithm. Brute forcing that algorithm on classical computers would take thousands of years of guessing game. This is precisely why 256-bit algorithm is considered secured at this time. However, for quantum computing, guessing the passcode for that algorithm would be within the practical reach. Of course, we should not forget about the problems with quantum computers where qubits are so fragile that even the cosmic ray from outer space can destroy the quantum information. And Google is in the game of creating a logical qubit, which is something like a collection of physical qubits that are stable and can hold information for a long period of time. There are all the different types of quantum computers that exploit different physical phenomena in order to simulate the quantum particles. For example, there is also photonic quantum computers. I would recommend you to check out this video that talks about the current state of quantum computing in 2021. If you like what you see, consider smashing that like button. All right, so let's move on on quantum machine learning. With emergence of deep learning, we are pushing the boundaries what computers can accomplish by incorporating very deep and complex neural networks into our everyday tasks. For example, full segmentation algorithm on seismic images 
can take several days in order to train a neural network on a high-end video card that limits the ability to hypertunity parameters. I'll just quickly mention that transformal neural network GPT-3 takes months to train a neural network on classical computers. And Google is one of the computer manufacturers moving into quantum machine learning. In 2020 TensorFlow Developers Summit, they introduced TensorFlow Quantum a library for rapid prototyping of hybrid quantum classical ML models. This means that we can use classical computers to develop quantum machine learning solutions. The framework integrates quantum algorithms and logic design in CERC. By the way, if you would like to know how to build your own models using TensorFlow Quantum, then go to TensorFlow official website. It contains many notebooks that would teach you how to use the framework for the famous MNIST dataset as well us show you how to convert classical data into quantum data. Although it's too early to answer the question of whatever quantum computer would result in better performing neural network for training or inference, however, we are getting some promising results from IBM research. Earlier this year, IBM Research announced they found mathematical proof for a quantum advantage for quantum machine learning. The proof came in a classification algorithm that is run on classical data and shows exponential speed up over classical ML methods. While many caveats go along with this statement, it gives us a glimpse where potential future of quantum AI is feasible. And we see some traction from oil and gas community to implement quantum machine learning for their research. For for example, we have a paper that discusses using quantum machine learning for lithology prediction. They show not improvement in speed, but in terms of generalization of power of quantum machine learning. Interpreting lithology from well log is crucial for achieving better understanding of the subsurface. Manual interpretation of well logs is time consuming and might lead to inconsistencies. There are many publications discusses the problem where they propose use machine learning techniques like support vector machine, neural network works or some others that would like to resort for deep learning methods with evolution and recurrent neural networks for lithology prediction. Deep learning methods requires a lot of training materials for better generalization of the neural network. And to obtain those training materials, we gotta embark on the very time consuming and expensive procedure of manual labeling. And hence the blind test shows only satisfactory results because of the linearity and complexity of the problem of lithology interpretation. Uh, the research paper Quantum Enhanced Deep Learning Based Lithology Interpretation from Well Logs proposed to improve machine learning and deep learning methods by integrating parameterized quantum circuits based on TensorFlow Quantum. And they tested the result that they are getting from quantum based approach with lithology prediction from CNN and LSTM. It was discovered that with fewer training samples, the quantum based approach performs better than traditional methods in terms of delineating thin lithology layers, moreover, requires fewer training parameters for the neural network. I understand that it's too early to put a lot of hope in quantum AI, but I still hope that in near future, life-changing AI solutions would be trained in a couple of hours and not weeks. For example, AlphaFold takes nearly two weeks to train neural network for the protein fold prediction which is crucial because it determines the protein function in almost all diseases, including cancer. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.